Good afternoon, Poggy Sports, and welcome to another VGC Battle Stadium Series 10 video. Bring you Necrozma Dawn Wings. Now, I'm super excited to try this boat out because we did, we did already try Lunala out on the channel, and I had a lot of success with Lunala. So, this pretty much does a similar thing while having Prism Armor instead. It, it pretty much does the identical thing, but it's got some cool colors. It's got some claws. It's got wings. It's a, it's a pretty good time. Along with that, I feel like the team that I built now did deal with a lot of the problems that the old Lunala team did have. And I also went a little bit off meta here, so it'll be a lot of fun to watch as well. It's not just running the same uh, five meta mons that you see ev on every single team. Speaking of the other mons, uh, let's get this one out of the way because this one is kind of like the, the one common factor between the two themes. Because Staka and Necrozma make so much sense together. There is literally no reason not to have both on your team. They deal with each other's problems very well, and that's why I have them both here. Also, secondary setter, we have the Incineroar. Let's get this one out of the way, too, because, you know, this is a Pokesports team. And, I mean, so far, I'm not I'm not fulfilling my promise by saying we got some exciting Pokemon. Um, I'm still not fulfilling my promise, but this is not where the exciting part is. We got the Amogus for Redirection. Um, it's a little bit more fun than Indeedee. Um, and we have the Psychic Terrain still on the team, but we have it in a different sense because we have the Scarfed Lele. We went against Scarfed Lele in the last episode. I wanted to try it out just because I feel like there's a spot for it, especially being able to outspeed um, Urshifus in general is very convenient. And, you know, just also being able to carry things like Shadow Ball and being able to outspeed Calyrex is also very convenient. So I think this is definitely the Pokemon to go. And, you know, just like... Expanding force with Necrozma in the as a lead if you don't feel like going Trick Room is a great option as well. Speaking of Pokemon that are weird, we have a Mystic Water Dracovish. We gotta go Mystic Water simply because we can't go Scarf. Um, so Mystic Water was our next best option. This is pretty much just to have a very good matchup into Kyogre. And also have another option if I'm against, you know, Groudons or Pokemon that don't like getting hit by Fish's Rend, right? So let's see how this Dracovish goes. This Dracovish is kind of like a, a little bit weird. It's a little bit of a pocket pick. Dracovish isn't really meta right now, but it's still a very good Pokemon. Everyone loves Mr. Fish. So hopefully we can make some use of it on this Trick Room team. I'm going to say Trick Room in quotes because a lot of these Pokemon... Like the only Trick Room Pokemon are these two, really? <laughs> and Amoongus, I guess. But all in all, the team can function outside of uh, Trick Room just as well. These Pokemon do very well outside of Trick Room. But anyway... Let's go ahead and get started with these battles. We're going against Azernius right in the lead. That That's not fun, but I mean, we have what we need to counter the Zern. We have the Staka. Uh, I was just hoping that we would get more of an opportunity to use Necrozma, but I, I mean, I still think bringing it is a good option. I'm a little fearful that that's a dark Urshifu because they already have a Grass Water Fire Core and the Pelipper Ensign. Rillaboom slash Among Us, so I'm, I'm feeling like that's not going to be another water type. That This seems kind of out of place. But uh, uh, let's just go ahead and assume they're going to lead with... The Zern. So we'll bring Stack and Necrozma. We'll set up Trick Room if we have to, but also keep in mind they do have their own Among Us, which could be... Could spell disaster for us. I do want to bring my Lele here. And then maybe my own Among Us for redirection. Do I need the instant? Instant would help against the Rilla. It would help a little bit against the Urshifu, but then it could just close combat me. I do have the swap ins for. Actually, I probably don't want to bring two dark with two, two fighting weaknesses. Let's bring the Amoongus. And then by bringing Amoongus, we're able to match their Amoongus. We're able to bring in a Grass type whenever they go for a Grass move. We we I think we the Amoongus gives us more options. But if you guys are excited to see the Crossman Dawn Wings here on the channel, go ahead and hit the like button down below. Subscribe to Focus Sports if you enjoy some VGC content. Among Us Instant. Okay. That's not what I expected them to lead. But I'm also not mad about it. My Staka does underspeed the Among Us. I'm just gonna, uh, the rock size a little iffy. I probably should just swap, but I don't want to. I'm 
Mm, I think it should be fine. Actually, if I just stay in. If I just stay in, rock slide. And then expanding force here on this Among Us spot. That might be enough to knock out. Not now. Oh, they're just going all in on this, this stack up. Oh, that means they're going right into Xerneas, aren't they? Makes sense, but I went all in on this Among Us for now. At the very least, my Necrozma... Oh, they're going Rillaboom. Okay. They're going all in on my stacker for some reason. I'm probably going to have my Necrozma go to sleep here, unfortunately, but there's little I can do about it. Unless it's one shot, which it doesn't. Unfortunate. But at least this Rock Slide should be more than enough to KO the Amoongus. I just eliminated a Pokemon. The reason they had to Spore there... It's because they knew I had Trick Room in my pocket. They, are, they weren't able to fake out this, the, um, the Necrozma spot, so might as well spore it. I'm going to get a Beast Boost, which is kind of nice to get my one. I get, like, I'm back at negative one. Whoop-de-doo. Here comes Incin to put me right back down to negative two. <laughs> Yikes. I mean... That's not fun. I'm going to make an attempt to at trick room. And I want to make an attempt to Meteor Beam into Rella just in case I'm able to wake up this turn, even though I won't because I have to do my mandatory sleep turn. Yeah, that's unfortunate. They're going to be able to Geomancy here, but at the same time... We should still be able to trick room. Theoretically. Now, should I reset my stats? Is the question. Or is the speed difference so big that it won't even matter? I feel like... Should I reset the stats? Is the question. No. I think a Geo... A Gyro Ball might still be enough to unzern. Fall by an attempted trick room. I gotta wake up though. Withdraw Zorilla. I'm going back down to negative two. This is how they play their game. The instant swaps on the, the fake out users. But I definitely don't think they can knock me out. Especially not there. Oh, almost did. <laughs> Here's a big gyro ball. Can we wake up and get the trick room off? We don't. Uh oh. I think we let our crossbow go. They're gonna fake out, so I'm gonna wide guard just in case they go for Dazzling Gleam for some reason, because they can at that health. So, this could come in handy. It also helps me bypass the fake out to make it so that at least I didn't have a completely useless turn. Yes! <laughs> that worked! They didn't fake out. What are they doing? They're gonna flare blitz. On my stacka? Yes, on my stacka. We get another chance to wake up. Do it. Yes! Get out of here. Get out of here. I got two Pokemon that can learn Wide Guard on the field. You dare use Dazzling Gleam in front of me? Oh, that felt nice. All right. Now what's left? Uh, Meteor Beam, the Incin, and Gyro Ball, the Zern. Like, there's this is such a simple turn right now. We're going to do just that. Gyro Ball, Zern, Meteor Beam, Incin, and call it a day. We are sitting nice and pretty right now. The instant might actually outspeed my Necrozma because I'm not min speed Necrozma. Like I said, this, this team wasn't meant to be hard Trick Room. It was just meant to use Trick Room whenever I needed to use Trick Room. We're back up to negative one. <laughs> Meteor, Beam, Meteor Beam will hopefully connect. Come on, we don't miss Meteor Beams on this channel. We don't miss single Meteor Beams on this channel. Easy peasy. Look at that instant damage! <gasps> Were you not EV'd, my friend? Yikes! 
Honestly, that, I didn't expect that to one shot. I, I I understand I'm at plus one, but dang the Krasma, you're looking awfully scary right about now. Now what are they left with? They're left with a Rillaboom. That's it. A Rillaboom should be their last mon here. And just because I want to style on my opponent, I don't know if they're gonna let me. But I'm gonna try to style on my opponent. We're gonna hard swap. Jump in a Lele, change the terrain, stop the fake out, go for the expanding force, end the game. But I think, yeah, they're just going to go ahead and do that. Ah, we didn't get the style on them. Oh, well. GG, Homar. GG. That's such a good showcase for Necrozma. I really couldn't ask for anything better. Good news, we're Master Ball now. We did it. Going against Jose. Who, which is, like, I like scarily similar rating to us. This is as standard as Rain Team gets. There is literally nothing here that surprises me whatsoever. Now, what do we do? We definitely set Trick Room turn one. And I think the stack and the Krasma is our best way of doing so. We bring our Lele in the back just to stop any potential fake outs. And then I think we just bring Draco. Or do we just bring Amoongus? Put everything in the no, because they have a lot of grass types, right? There's another reason not to bring Dracovish, but at the same time, Dracovish can take advantage of the rain plus Mystic Water plus going first. And just because I feel like there's no better time to bring Dracovish here. I understand they have double grass types and a lucky, but I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be just fine. We just gotta make sure this trick room goes up and we gotta stop asking yourself so many questions. The thing with Dracovish is since I am not scarfed, I am less confident with it. I feel like when Dracovish is scarfed, at least you know you're going to outspeed the majority of things you're up against. But like right now, it's like, oh, I kind of got to know my speed here, huh? They're going to lead Incinrilla? I'm not like super worried about this. I don't even think I need Trick Room yet. Like, if I'm going to be honest, I kind of just want to click this button right now. I probably should take a swap here. And I will. I'll go right into Lele. Change the terrain. Stop them from faking out. Even though it doesn't really make a difference this turn. Might as well stop them from doing damage to me. Stop them from having priority grassy surges. Terrains. Slides. Boosted grass moves. Does not like. Here comes a fake out. Not gonna happen. Oh, by the knockoff. This is gonna hurt. Oh, it's gonna hurt and it's gonna make me sad because now I gotta. Now I gotta charge off. Oh, that's so bad. Needless to say, we're in a little bit of danger. Um, I got a slash shock on that Rillaboom spot. That's all I can really do here. That's so bad. Damn, my opponent just stalled on me. I should just trick room though. I had the chance. Well, not really because... Yeah, I probably should trick room when I had the chance. Well, we'll see how this turn plays out. Psyshock should do like a disgusting amount of damage to Rillo. Good enough. They're going to double knock off. I mean, as they should, right? GG's Necrozma. My only hope there was that they weren't a salt vest for some reason or I crit there for some reason, but it's just super unfortunate that that happened. I guess that I I could have predicted that though. So that's like low key my bad. Like I totally could have done better there. Now they go into Kyogre here, right? Yeah. So naturally. Naturally we go into Draco Vish. And show them like, hey, you're not going to do damage to my side of the field. Also, I do think a boosted Ficious Rend onto that Rillaboom spot will knock out that Rillaboom at that health. And I think Psyshock's our best bet here on a Kyogre just to get rid of like Water Spout damage. Try to get it at least below half. I understand that we got Parting Shotted and such, but we're still doing damage to Kyogre's physical defense instead of its special defense, which is a lot weaker. We're still getting Psychic Terrain boost here as well. And we're also still max special attack. So hopefully this still does at least half. In comes Insin. Serener. 
Okay, they brought every single grass type possible. It does about half. Okay. And they switched the scald here. Yikes! No burn, no burn. Nice. Here's a vicious rend. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Not very effective, sir. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. That is absolutely hilarious. Here comes Rilla again. Unfortunate. Here's the thing, though. Let's give Rilla a choice. I think I double into Rilla here. And regardless of what happens, Rilla boom. Oh, um, yeah, I'm choice locked now. They don't go instant right away, right? No, they have to fake out something here. Oh, they can't fake. Oh, yes, they can. They have grassy terrain up. They're just going to glide. Okay. That makes sense. I mean, hopefully the Psy Shock is enough to take this out so that I can at least hit the Kyogre with something. And it's not. Unlucky. Another Skull is coming out. Going to go on to the top of Lele spot. I mean, this is still not great. Yeah, still not in a great position, unfortunately. Are they, like, locked onto Scarf or something? I mean, are they locked onto Scald? That'd be really good information to have. Because then I feel like maybe Dracovish can fight this ogre. One-on-one. -on -one. Uh, issue is, I don't... <sighs> I don't think there's much that stack it can do, unfortunately, because I can't protect. I can't really do anything here, and I'm about to get double intimidated, double intimidated on my side of the field. My my only hope is here is to just make sh is to hope that Kyogre is by itself. That skull is the only thing that it can do, and that's it. I can also try to trick him here, like as large ditch effort, but I think this would be more beneficial on the rock side. There's a fake out on something. It's going to be on the Dracovish. You might be Scarf, man. Unfortunately, we're not able to take that at all. How many Scalds can we take is the question. How many Scalds can Dracovish take? Okay, tell you what, I could protect here just get some more grassy terrain, but I think I want to get rid of Vincent first. I think getting rid of Vincent's kind of key. Oh no, they're not even scarfed at all. Okay, they're just switching to Ice Beam. Now I'm sad. GG. <laughs> Honestly, man, I, I feel like I lost that game to Jose the second they knocked off my Necrozma. Once they knocked off my Power Herb, I was just at an immediate disadvantage for the rest of the game. So, let's not make the same mistake again. Oh boy, Victor. What are you doing, Victor? Victor, put the chancy away. Okay, we have to teach Victor a lesson here. We have to. It's not even a question anymore. I'm going to go ahead, lead with the Lele, lead with the fish. I feel like that's your best play. Does our instant have taunt? It should. It does. Should I lead with the instant too? Maybe I should lead with, like, Fish Ensign. Bring the Lele in the back. Bring the Necrozma also in the back. And then hope for the best? I think I like that plan. Or Lele should be able to take care of the Calyrex. If this is anything like the, old, the other... Chansey Shuckle team that I saw with Calyrex on it. They're just gonna leave with like offense, try to get rid of as many Pokemon as I as they possibly can, and then bring the Chansey later with the guard swap and the nonsense. But we'll see. It is gonna be Manchow Calyrex. Wow. I mean, they should be a little scared. Maybe. Um, they got two options. I'm going to try to crunch this thing, though. I 
I can't fake out either one of them, unfortunately, so I might have to take the swap. I might have to let the instant go. Mmm, this hurts to do, though. Okay, I'm doubling into Calyrex. This hurts to do. Uh, my, my opponent definitely did... It did mess me up a little bit. I was I, I was at least hoping they would lead with the Chansey. I know I predicted their lead, like, correctly the second they spawned. But that's only because I had some extra time to think about it. Thankfully, they went for the fake out. Unfortunately, it's going to crit me. I'm out speeding their Calyrex. Are they going for Trick Room? They are. Okay. So I just do this. And this is convenient because it's going to put me in a situation where they have that one, they have either Chansey or Shuckle on the field, but they don't have both, right? I'm going to break the Mianchao down to Sash, and that's all I can ask for. That's going to be amazing. Unless they don't have Sash on Mianchao, in which case I'll be a little sad. But this should just kind of be... A... Okay, they're going to just swap instead. In which case, you get a full damage Ficious Friend on the Chansey. Which I'm also not complaining about. And then I also get a full damage Flare Blitz on the Shuckle. Hey, this is cool. Okay, that, that was like zero damage. But hey, it's still damage, I guess. Here's a Ficious Friend, though. That feels nice. That looks nice. Okay. Um, we do the same thing. They can't protect. Oh, instead, I think I'm going to... No, I should... The shuckle is going to be useless after this turn. So I should... Just fish this around to you. And taunt the Chansey as well, just in case I miss. Worst case scenario, I end up taunting the, uh, the, okay. They just guard slow it away. That's a given. And then they go for soft world. Okay, this is why we taunted. This is why we taunted. Mm, what I should have done is not gone for Fish's Friend because they outspeed me. I should have gone for, like, anything else, but it's fine. Yeah, because that's not going to do a lot. All right, um... I guess I could do crunches for defense drops at this point. Followed by taunting Shuckle as well. I know taunt I know Shuckle can get toxic and stuff. I don't want it to start poisoning my whole team. Oh, come on. Don't do this garbage. At least force Chansey onto Seismic Toss. Taunting the whole field, man. This is why you have taunting your teams. Oh, let's see how little damage this crunch does now. It's, it's literal zero. Okay, I have to switch. Um, I guess Necrozma is my best option for now. I'm going to Flare Blitz the Chansey while I can. I'm wondering what the... Uh, the Shuckle's actually going to do now that I got rid of, like, everything that it does. <laughs> it's probably going to be another swap there. They're probably going to swap into something. I probably should have attacked that target now. Because they're not going to sit here and struggle. No, they didn't swap because they would have swapped out first. Okay, I guess they're staying on the field. They're going to sit here and struggle. They want to go down. That's the thing. Another Seismic Toss. I mean, I should have a Berry somewhere. Right? Yeah, there it is. My berry's just hiding. It's there, though. Still pretty decent damage. Flare Blitz. Nice little crit. I guess I kind of needed it. Um, Twisted Dimension's not returned to normal. So we're now the fastest thing on the field again. So I can go for Meteor Beam onto you. And I can go for Flare Blitz onto you. I'm throwing literally everything I have at... 
this chancy. <laughs> Issue is, they're going to be able to bring a Calyrex back on the field eventually, and that's not going to be fun for... Oh, they're going to do it, like, right now. Okay, they send a Mienchow first, so they're going to bring in Calyrex after I KO the Chansey. If I KO the Chansey. I got a burn. Nice Constellation burn there. If I brought Stack, I would feel a little safer right now, but I didn't. If they get rid of my instant, that'll honestly be best case scenario. But I guess we'll see how this turn plays out. Because then I could bring in my, my Scarf Lele and be able to outspeed. Okay, they just don't even knock me out. Or I just don't even knock them out. And they actually might knock out my instant. How much health do I have? Okay, no, I still live one more. I'm probably going to fake out my instant there, though. Shakes off the taunt, but I think it's too late, thankfully. I'm just going to go ahead and expanding force. Fall by the hard swap into the Lele. Get my Lele on the field safely. Might as well. Stop any potential fake outs from happening. I feel like I'm working this Chansey team. It, it, it's making me work. It's making me make some plays and use my big old head. But I feel like we still have... We're still in the driver's seat here. It's not like we're in some serious danger. It's... It's mostly like... Yeah, it's annoying, but... <laughs> it's not impossible. Now we'll get the swap into the Lele. I feel like we have the Pokemon we need to deal with this. That's why I'm not too concerned. Even if they knock me off, that's fine. I have no item and I have... Prism Armor. Close combat into Lele is not going to do anything. Now let's see a big old expanding force here, folks. What is that? Oh, you're a pack. If they're smart, they go Shuckle. If they're dumb, they go Calyrex. Because they're about to sack off a Calyrex to me. If they go Calyrex. Thank you? Do they forget I was attacking this turn still? Hello, Expanding Force. <laughs> Big damage. Good riddance. They probably thought that I was going to single target the Chansey, but no, I only got double target moves. I already used Meteor Beam. Can't use that one again. Oh, they just sack off two Pokemon to me. Now this feels really good. Because now I have a way to defeat the rest of the team. Shuckle is a non-factor. Shuckle I couldn't care less about. And Mian Shao has no sash. It was eject pack. <laughs> so we're sitting nice and pretty. Second expanding force here, followed by a dazzling gleam for good measure. Let's see if my opponent decides to forfeit. I feel like I feel like they've exhausted all their options. Yep, they have exhausted all their options. GG's, we broke through Chansey with this team. Okay, not too shabby. Double win, one loss. And the loss was entirely our fault. I felt like we could have played better if we just kind of used their brains before we clicked their buttons. But hey, let's get you guys that rental code. And here you have the rental code for the Necrozma team. Honestly, this team did, it did a lot better than I anticipated. I mean, obviously, Necrozma is a great Pokemon. It's got a problem with, you know, the four times weaknesses. But all in all, Prism Armor just helps so much, it doesn't even matter. And it's a great setter. Two potential Trick Room setters on this team. We didn't really get to use the Amoongus today. Because I feel like most of the Trick Rooms that we had to go for were like... I don't want to sound mean, but they were somewhat free. It's not like our opponent gave us a very hard time when it comes to Trick Room. And for the most part, we didn't even kind of need them for most of the games. The Lele did amazing. I didn't get to use the, the tech with Shadow Ball, unfortunately. But the Dracovish... Dracovish impressed me. If you could see a Dracovish knock out a Serena... With, with nothing. It wasn't a crit. It wasn't anything. It was just a vicious ran damage with Mystic Water. That's disgusting. <laughs> that, that's pretty good. Um, I learned a new calc today. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this rental, make sure to grab it while it's out. I had to go ahead and delete the Reshiram team. Unfortunately, this is why I said make sure to grab these rental codes while they're out. Because once they're gone, they're gone for good. So make sure that you go ahead, grab this rental code, use the team while you can. And I will see you guys again here tomorrow for another three battles with this team. I'm Kevin Spooky Sports. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great night. Peace out.